Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I'm very glad that you are with us. Now, as always, we're going to start with a blessing. And this is Wednesday. We will be reciting the Confession of Sin together. And then we'll be reading from the Book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm 119, verses 1 through 24. And then we'll be reciting the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer together. And we're going to go ahead and get started today. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers, you are worthy of praise, glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Reading Psalm 119. Oh, not confession of sin first. I always forget that because it's only once a week. But we're going to do that first. All right, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit to keep us in eternal life. Amen. All right, now reading Psalm 119, starting in verse 1. Those whose way is blameless, who walk in the Lord's instruction, are truly happy. Those who guard God's laws are truly happy. They seek God with all their hearts. They don't even do anything wrong. They walk in God's ways. God, you have an order that your decrees should be kept most carefully. How I wish my ways were strong when it comes to keeping your statutes. Then I wouldn't be ashamed when I examine all your commandments. I will give thanks to you with a heart that does right as I learn your righteous rules. I will keep your statutes. Please don't leave me all alone. How can young people keep their past pure? By guarding them according to what you've said. I have sought you with all my heart, don't let me stray from any of your commandments. I keep your word close in my heart so that I won't sin against you. You, Lord, are to be blessed. Teach me your statutes. I will declare out loud all the rules you have spoken. I rejoice in the content of your laws as if I were rejoicing over great wealth. I will think about your precepts and examine all your paths. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget what you have said. Be good to your servant so I can go on living and keeping your word. Open my eyes so I can examine the wonders of your instruction. I'm an immigrant in the land. Don't hide your commandments from me. I'm worn out by longing every minute for your rules. You rebuke the arrogant, accursed people who stray from your commandments. Take all their insults and contempt away from me because I've kept your laws. Even if rulers gather and scheme against me, your servant will contemplate your statutes. Yes, your laws are my joy. They are my most trusted advisors. And now I'll be putting the Apostles' Creed in the comments so we can recite it together. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, and now I'll be putting the Lord's Prayer in the comments so we can recite it together. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Right, and let us now continue with the prayers of the people, which I'm putting in the comments right now. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together, is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our presiding bishop, Raul, our own bishop, Justin, our pastors, Sean, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, Michelle, and Harrison, and all pastors, priests, and deacons of our Diocese of the Emmaus Way, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. We offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine. We pray for an end to conflict and a start to deep, abiding peace, and we pray that your spirit provides comfort and hope even in the midst of terrible circumstances. We also pray for Vladimir Putin and the nation of Russia that they experience conviction over their actions and repent of their violence and warfare. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems and who recently had a bad fall, Pam's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Minister Chapman, for Paula's sister, for Christina, for Deborah's housing situation, for Michelle Mangold, who is seeking financial freedom, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Kate's grandmother, who is going through health issues, for Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer, for Michelle and Jeremiah's family, who are sick with COVID, for Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett, for Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment, for Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently, for Michelle's mother, who is adjusting to living with diabetes. For Vonda, who is recently diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. For Candace's daughter, Nadia, who is facing serious health issues. And for Candace and all her children as they adjust to a new way of life. For Tim, that his recovery from back surgery may continue. For Rose Burkhardt, whose husband passed away recently. For Curie Bolger and her son, Bryson, who lost the rest of their family to a severe storm. For William Hawes, who is recovering from brain surgery. And for Virginia, who has breast cancer. For Jennifer's friend Monta, who's going through a custody battle. For Valerie's friend, who has long COVID. For Anthony's husband Michael, who's struggling with his health and has major breathing issues. For the families and loved ones of the Uvalde school shooting victims. And for Mackenzie, who has COVID. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness, for Nikki while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day, and for Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as Allie continues to grow. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Reel, Michael Kinley and Owen Bolger, Melissa Baisley, Randy, those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, and the 21 victims of the Uvalde school shooting, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. 
Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin and nor be overcome by troubles, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I'm putting rethinkfaith.org slash prayer into the comments where you can go to submit your own prayer request. And as always, I would ask that you specify if your prayer request is public or private. The public ones will appear here. The private ones will only share with the leadership team. But either way, you'll have people praying for you. And then also please send us updates so that we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And that's all I have for today. So to anyone who has been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.